Okay, y'all, it has been about a half hour since I paused so I can give my sniffer a break. I am going to revisit what's been on my hand because it's been a half hour now. I sprayed that almond croissant on my hand. And it's there, but it's very muted. Yeah, I love the initial scent burst of almond croissant, but uh, the last one's a little lacking for me. Now let's go back to pistachio ice cream. Still smells banging. Yeah, the winner for me thus far has definitely been pistachio ice cream. Now let's check. Woo. Now let's check wrapped in vanilla. Remember I sprayed her right here? She still smells good. She, it's not heavy. I'm going to say it is a little bit on the lighter side. But it still smells like wrapped in vanilla. Yo, I'm impressed with it. I'm definitely going to need to get the lotion in wrapped in vanilla for sure. It's going to be an amazing, I'm hoping to God that lotion performs like how the vanilla performed on my skin with this. Yes. Now let's get into testing more. All right. Next scent is whipped, oh, whipped berry meringue. How ironic. Whipped berry meringue. That is that uh, boardwalk taffy dupe. Let's see what this is giving. Uh... It ain't hitting quite right, uh, no, no. No, it doesn't quite smell like how Cotton Candy Clouds, Whipberry Meringue, and Boardwalk Taffy smell. It's extremely light. Not a fan of that one. Now we have, ooh, Raspberry Whip Vanilla. Raspberry with vanilla. Let's check that out. Let's see here. Oh, that's pretty. Yo. Definitely a lot of raspberry in this. And vanilla. It's heavy. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Yo, raspberry with vanilla. She good, yo. She good, good. She good, good. Next up, we have, ooh, raspberry almond cake. Yes. Let's try this one out. Raspberry almond cake. Ugh. Bro. Uh, it's a pretty scent. It's extremely light. Like, very light. I think if this was a lot heavier, like really bam in your face, this would be really good. Yeah, but raspberry almond cake ain't hitting for me. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not. Next one is funnel cake. Funnel cake. Let's see what's going on with this. Y'all, we still have like 18 cents to go. Oh my God. <laughs> it's going to be a long one, yo, a long one. Bruh, funnel cake did not disappoint. It smells like funnel cake, but with like a little bit of cinnamon in there. It smells amazing. Yo, this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I like it, I like it. So, so far out of the samples, I definitely am digging... Raspberry whipped vanilla and funnel cake for show, for show, for show. Damn, I'm going to need some lotion in that for the fall. That would be amazing in the fall. All right, next pack of samples. How the hell do you get this thing? Oh, here we go. I'm like, how the hell? you? Maybe I should just open them all. Okay, are we ready, y'all? <laughs> Let's get into this. I unwrapped all of them, so I have 18 more of these samples, so I can give you a good idea of how these smell. So far in the samples, again, raspberry whipped vanilla and funnel cake. Those other ones, it ain't working for me, baby. Uh, pistachio latte. Ooh, that'll be different. Pistachio latte. Let's see how this is going. It's very coffee heavy. Very latte heavy. 
it's a good coffee scent, but I'm not really getting a lot of pistachio. It is a pretty coffee scent, though. I do like this. I will say I do like this. Next up, we have, ooh, sweet cherry. Oh, yes. I am dying for a good cherry, so let's hope and pray this does, like, it delivers. This smells like how the opening note of Sweetheart Cherry smells without the almond. Without the pistachio and almond, this smells like that. Almost like a, like a cherry, like, um, a cherry popsicle. Oh, I do like this. Cherry is good. It's a true, authentic cherry. I, I give them props for that one. That one's good. Sweet strawberry and cream. Their strawberry scents are usually fire, so let's see. It's pretty, but it's light. It kind of reminds me of those strawberry cream savers. But it's very light. Yeah, it's pretty, but again, it's light. It's light. It definitely smells like one of those strawberry cream savers. Next up, we have creme brulee. Creme brulee. This is pretty. It's, it's a little on the softer side, but it is pretty. But again, this one is kind of on the softer side. It is pretty. It smells like a creme brulee, but it's soft. Yeah. Next up, we have, ooh, margarita cupcake. Margarita cup. Can you do it, dirty soul? Let's see. Let's see. Can you, can you do it? Let's see. I love me some margarita cupcake. And uh, that's one of my favorite ones for spring. And I'm almost out of what I do have. Like, I think it'll maybe last through next spring. Well, damn. This does smell almost identical to it. It's just not very strong. But it does smell like it. I will say it does smell like it. You get that margarita, the cupcake, the lime. An orange. Yeah, this is good, guys. This is good. They did replicate it. I just wish it was a little stronger, but I bet you the lotion is fire. F -f fire. They do make body scrubs, body shower washes, body lotions. So, y'all, if some of these scents are a little weaker, I'm betting almost anything the lotions are going to be heavier. So, there's always that. This one. Pear Creme Brulee. We've been talking about how they need to bring back pear creme brulee. Let's see. Oh, I wonder if it hits. I wonder if it hits. The pear is beautiful in this. I will say that, but it's not exactly like pear creme brulee. It is very similar, like very similar. It is a beautiful pair. It is on the lighter side. But it is pretty. They did do a good job on this one. I will say they did a good job. Yeah, they did. They did. That one is, y'all, pear creme brulee is not, it is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Next up, we have peach rings. Peach rings. Like the peach, peach candy, I'm betting. Like the peach candy. This is going to be weird for me because a lot of peach scents don't hit for me. A lot of times those peach scents, I'm like, ooh. Bridgerton was freaking amazing. I love Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. Bro. Yo, this is fire. Peach rings is fire. It's almost like if they if those cream savers by Life Savers, but they did a peach one. It's very creamy. It's got a really candied, beautiful peach. This 
is really good. Peach rings for the win. For the win. Winner, winner. That one was fire, fire, fire. Next up, we have vanilla cake. That one's good. Damn, peach rings. She slaps. Slaps. Let's see how this one works out. Vanilla cake. I'm always nervous with their vanilla scents because for some reason, like I said, but wrapped in vanilla is, is freaking working. It still smells, I mean, it has not changed. So kudos to you, Dirty Soul, for that. Vanilla cake is... <laughs> it smells like an authentic white vanilla cake. Not the yellow one, the white one. I like this. I'm going to have to get me some lotion in this. Bro, vanilla cake... You, this is a good one. This is a good one. Vanilla cake. For sure. For sure. Oh, wild berry jam donut. You think you replicated it, Dirty Soul? Let's see. We're going to see. We're going to see. I'm excited, though, because wild berry jam donut was fire. Fire, fire. Yep, it is. Yo, damn. It smells exactly like Wild Berry Jam Donut, and it's strong. Yeah, Wild Berry Jam Donut for the win. Y'all did good on that, Dirty Soul. Damn. Damn, baby, damn. Next up, we have Blow Pops. Blow Pops? Oh, I'm excited for this. Low Pops, I have my little pile of my winner, winner chicken dinner samples, and the other ones that just didn't quite hit it for me. I can smell this already. This is going to be a strong one. Yo, it legit smells exactly like a Charms Blow Pop, like the red one. Exactly like it. Yeah, this is a winner. Blow Pops is a winner. Like, you almost get the gumball smell as well. Yeah, winner, winner. Chocolate-covered strawberries. This would be a good one for uh, Valentine's Day. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. It's different. I do like it. You definitely get a heavy chocolate scent. The strawberries more in the back. I think this is one that would definitely grow on me, especially if it was around Valentine's Day. This reminds me of something, but what it is, I cannot think of it. Like, smelling it gives me nostalgic childhood memories, but I don't know what it is. I do like this. The chocolate-covered strawberries, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Well, I don't know if you can almost see in my brain, it's like... <laughs> Where is that from? Where is that from? It's something. I'm going to have to think on that, but I know that smell. I know it. Next up, we have, ooh, peach Prosecco macaron. Damn, y'all really trying to do it up, huh? Duping all the scents. Let's see, because this one's a hard one. Let's see. No, this is good. It is good. I was never the hugest fan. I do like Peach Prosecco Macaron, but it was not one of my favorites. But it does smell like it, just a little bit on the light side. It does, it, it, the more I smell it, the more I'm like, well, damn. I do like it, but it, it, I just wish it was a little bit heavier. But it does smell like peach prosecco macaron. Well done. Well done. Next up, we have chocolate croissant. Okay, so I have that almond croissant. Now we doing chocolate croissant, huh? Y'all, just smelling this, I feel like I gained five pounds. Just smelling all this shit? I do. I feel like I gained like five pounds. Anytime I look at food, I gain five pounds. I swear to God. I smell the croissant. I definitely get croissant, like, big time. I'm not really getting any chocolate, though. I really think that the almond croissant is better. It's good, but not as good as that almond one. Not as good as the almond. 
We have marbled toffee. Marbled toffee. Let's see what that do. I have four left after this one, y'all. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, it definitely smells like toffee. It doesn't slap enough for me to be like, Yeah, this one, I does smell like toffee, but it's, again, on the lighter side. Yeah, I do like it. It does smell like toffee. It's just light. It's just light. Let's see. Ooh, cherry almond. Cherry almond. Let's see what this do. I'm excited, though. I am excited. Um, there, the, y'all, I'm sorry, but I, I don't like this. I don't like this. There's like nothing there. It's extremely light, extremely light. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one, y'all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, frosted cupcake. What'd that do? What'd that do? That vanilla cake was slapping. Slapping. So I'm excited for Frosted Cupcake, baby. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, that's good. It's good, yo. It's good. Definitely smells like a Frosted Cupcake you would get at a birthday party. I love this. Yeah, Frosted Cupcake for the win, for the win. Two left, y'all. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> we have Raspberry Jelly Donut, which they have the Raspberry Jam Donut, so I'm a little confused, but hey, maybe this one's even better. But that one they did with Raspberry Jam Donut was, was good. Oh, this is different. It, it smells more like the fresh, like, raspberry jam, and you get the powdery, like, sugary donut in the back, like how a raspberry jam would smell, but, like, fresh. That's what this smells like. Oh, I like this. It's different. It's not the same as raspberry uh, jam donut. It's not. Raspberry jelly donut is very different. I actually like this better. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. The very last one. I've talked about this several times. Coconut cream pie. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? Let it slap, Lord. Let it slap me right out my chair. Um... It smells like it. However, it's very, very light. Yeah, it's nothing. It, it, they need to up the dosage on this or something. It does smell like it, but it's very, very light. In my opinion, I did get a lot of winners out of this. Like, at least more than half of the samples I really liked. This is fire. And my hand still smells like it, yo, and it's been all this time. It's been going on 40-some minutes. Maybe even 50. Damn. Damn, baby. Yeah, that one's good. Wrapped in vanilla still smells fire on my wrist. The almond croissant is there, but it really toned down a lot. However, when you first put it on, you're going to fall in love for sure. St. Bart's is really good. The cream soda was really good. Hawaiian Tropic, Banana Daiquiri, Banana Split slaps, y'all. She slaps. She slaps, slaps. Yeah, and then a lot of these samples were really, really good. Yeah, um, definitely a mixed review of stuff here. Some were really good. Some didn't quite do it for me. I'm always going to be honest, though, and I know you guys appreciate that. Yeah, and I hope Dirty Soul Soap takes my honesty into consideration and be like, hey, Maybe there is some things we could improve, or maybe her sniffer just busted, bruh. I, I don't know. I don't know. I still love them. 
I definitely love their lotions. I'm going to have to start getting more of those. Um, but yeah, what did you think? Definitely leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought. Don't forget to get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and get you some grotto. You need a mermaid lagoon, some grotto in your life, girl. Uh, and as always, we're at my favorite part. Ready? Sing it with me. Sing it with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.